to even express w what it was like. Everybody, the crowd went ecstatic. I mean, not just devotees, all the people there were crying in ecstasy. It was just like, uh, it was like a miraculous event. Prabhupada looked like he floated. It appeared that his feet weren't even touching the stage. And then after the event, we had a little apartment for Srila Prabhupada that was just off of Frederick Street where Prabhupada was staying when he came up. And we drove up there and uh, Prabhupada was sitting in the car and the door was open. And I was standing there with Jayananda and Madhavisa knelt down at Srila Prabhupada and said to Srila Prabhupada, was he pleased, you know, with, with the festival. And Prabhupada grabbed Madhavisa's head and pulled it over on his lap and rubbed his head like this and said, I loved it. And all the devotees went crazy over that. That was <laughs> Madhu looked like Ramachandra and Hanuman. He looked just like Hanuman kneeling in front of Lord Ramachandra. So the whole thing just looked so regal. Prabhupada was so happy about the Ratiyatra festival and the success of it. He was just going on and on. He was saying, why have we done all this? Why have we put out all this energy to put on this festival? And he began to speak that this is the, this is the compassion of the Vaishnava. For the purpose of benefiting others, the Vaishnava goes to such great lengths to see to the preaching of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He said, this is Vaishnavism, this is Vaishnavism. Twice he said, and actually tears began to come to his eyes. And as the tears came to his eyes, he couldn't speak anymore. This is Vaishnavism. Uh, as he thought of the, the success of the Rathayatra. And so, being unable to speak anymore, he actually just waved his hand for everyone to leave. And I realized that I was going back to Hawaii very soon, so I let everyone leave, and I was the last one, and I paid my obeisances. And uh, Prabhupada saw me there, and he pointed to his servant at that time, it was Kartikeya Maharaj, to give me the garland from his deities. And so he put it upon me. And I realized that in this moment of Srila Prabhupada's uh, extraordinary compassion, I was getting his mercy in that form of that garland, and paid my obeisances and left. And I remember in the airport, after the ecstatic greeting in Kirtan, there were some reporters there, and, and this reporter kept asking Srila Prabhupada when it was that he realized God. And Srila Prabhupada, as we know, would never ever put himself forward or take credit. He was always a humble servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of the most intimate devotees of Krishna. So Srila Prabhupada would just explain to the person that, oh, you know, anyone can realize God and how God is there in the transcendental sound of His holy name. So Srila Prabhupada was trying to give him some philosophical understanding. But the man was very persistent and he kept inquiring, but you Swamiji, when did you first realize God? And so Srila Prabhupada smiled and he said, I first realized God when I was five years old. And of course, Srila Prabhupada then said, actually, there was never a time when I, I did not remember God. So we know that, that Srila Prabhupada displayed the symptoms of a pure devotee from birth. He talks about that in the Bhagavatam and how uh, his symptoms also of of holding Rathiyatra and worshipping Radha Krishna. These are symptoms of a liberated soul coming into this material world just for the purpose of delivering the conditioned souls. So here Srila Prabhupada confirmed his full God realization from uh, inception in this material world. Those were the old days before terrorism, so we just used to take these huge monster Kirtan parties right into the airport and then Prabhupada came and I guess there was a press conference and I remember I was standing right next to Prabhupada and I just remember I was looking at Prabhupada and suddenly my heart started fluttering and just I felt the most incredible ecstasy that I've, I've never before or since felt that ecstasy just I was standing there looking at Prabhupada.